Buildings in Europe use a lot of energy. About 40% of all energy used, in fact. This energy consumption is not only expensive, but it makes up 36% of our polluting CO2 emissions, and that's unsustainable. But not all our buildings are the culprits here. Modern buildings use far less energy and do a lot less harm to the environment. It's those built before 1980 that are the real villains, consuming about 95% of the total energy used by buildings. And older office buildings are the worst of all, with their energy consumption being 40% higher than in smaller residential dwellings. The EU has imposed some ambitious targets to reduce this energy use, known as its 2020-20 targets. They set three clear objectives. To reduce by 20% greenhouse gas emissions from 1990 levels in the EU. To raise the share of EU energy consumption produced from renewable resources to 20%. And to improve the EU's energy efficiency by 20%. In addition to the 2020 targets, the European Commission is also working on further long-term goals with greater reductions in energy use targeted for 2030 and 2050. Cutting the amount of energy used by our buildings will be key to hitting all these targets and it makes sense to work on ways to make them more efficient without having to knock them all down. And start again. That's why renovating older buildings and retrofitting them with cutting-edge energy solutions is so important. But at the moment, only 1% of pre-1990 buildings are being retrofitted sufficiently to make a difference. And that has to change if we're to hit those EU targets. The A2P Beer project is a four-year research effort partly funded by the EU's 7th Framework Programme. And it is addressing the issue of energy-efficient retrofitting as a means of reaching those EU targets. It is approaching this ambition by focusing on our public buildings, so often older and in need of upgrading. Indeed, 30% of non-residential buildings in Europe are public buildings. So the project is developing a new approach to renovating these buildings, using a mix of established building technology and advanced, innovative solutions. Hence, affordable and adaptable public buildings through energy-efficient retrofitting. Drawing on the expertise of its 20 partners, the project is approaching this task in several different ways. Firstly, it aims to demonstrate that the requirements that exist today to make buildings nearly zero energy users can already be achieved in public buildings by using affordable and adaptable solutions already on the market. The technologies developed by project partners are an energy-efficient thermal heat pump component called CoolStore, developed by ClimateWell, this integrates directly with solar collectors and provides heating during winter, cooling during summer and hot water every day. Two new building envelopes constructed using vacuum insulation panels by Isolica use a microporous insulating material and a metal film cover. This has extremely low thermal conductivity and when integrated with Bergamo's various ventilated facade solutions and with a metal studded interior panel system, it increases energy efficiency in the building. Smart windows are being used in the project to adjust and control the amount of solar radiation entering a building. Produced by Bergamo, they extract heat from the sun during winter and bring it into the building, and in summer they deflect the sun away from the building. Finally, smart lighting solutions developed by Perans, Toshiba and Technalia are being used. The Peran system captures and directs natural light into the interior of the building, while Toshiba and Technalia have developed a lighting control system with energy-efficient LEDs. When combined, they deliver considerable savings. But the project isn't just about the technology. A2P Beer aims to demonstrate how it is not only possible, but also cost-effective, to reduce energy use in existing public buildings by 50% and to demonstrate that the process of retrofitting these buildings is replicable for different uses and climates across Europe. So the project selected three demonstration districts in different European climates, 
where monitoring of energy consumption took place so retrofitting strategies and methodologies could be developed relative to the climatic conditions in each district. Retrofitting solutions are now being developed to match each type of building's requirement using combinations of the technologies developed by the partners. These technologies will be demonstrated in three buildings an office in Bilbao, Spain, a cultural building in Malmo, Sweden, and a dormitory building in Ankara, in Turkey. The project will also be demonstrated and validated at three virtual environments in Oslo, Norway, Zagreb, Croatia, and Genoa, Italy. And then, after being installed in three real buildings, validated by a complex monitoring system that measures conditions both indoors and outdoors, as well as the energy consumption of the buildings before and after retrofitting. A2P Beer has also developed a methodology for the holistic energy efficient retrofitting of public buildings, meaning the processes being used by the project could be replicated in different climates and in different types of buildings. With this rigorous approach to selecting the retrofit solutions, demonstrating how they can reduce energy use in public buildings, and then validating how the technology works in real life conditions. A2P Beer will then engage with all stakeholders in the construction sector, manufacturers, architects, building managers, energy service companies, owners and users, to demonstrate just what is possible and leverage their support in using these solutions. The project will also develop a special Train the Trainer initiative. This will include an online course and training workshops using the project's support tool, designed to assist building owners in the best practice approach to retrofitting taking into account climate, building fabric, available technologies and financial restraints. This will ensure that the techniques for applying energy saving solutions are replicated and used by all key players. We will then really begin to see the dramatic reductions in energy use in our public buildings all over Europe.